Welcome to Mathically. No, welcome to Mathically, where we basically do math. I'm Kelly, and today we're gonna do percentages. Oh, percentages are so hard. <laughs> okay, so when I say percentages, a lot of kids freak the heck out. <laughs> All right, let's say you're given a question like this. Okay, what is four? Oops. What is 4% of 300? 4% of 300? Well, when I ask my students this, they would say something like, oh, of, of is multiplication, 300. So then I'll do 300 times 0 0.04. Or a lot of middle schoolers, they'll do something like 4 over 100, which is good, equals X over 300. And then you cross multiply and then you cross cancel and then blah, 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 blah. It's so much work. Well, sometimes these methods are necessary, but I really want you to understand what the meaning behind this question is. Now, 4%. We really have to know what does percent mean? So let me write down. Percent. Now let's break it up. What does per mean? When I hear the word per, um, no, it's not a little cat. Okay, per, I hear it a lot in like grocery stores or when I'm driving. So if I'm at Ralph's or something and I wanna buy some apples, there's usually a huge sign that says 99 cents per pound. Or if you're driving, then maybe your mom's going at 45 miles per hour. So per literally means for each. Let's write that down, for each. Now, what does cent mean? Hmm, no, it's not the penny. Well, kinda, how many pennies are there in a dollar? 100, exactly. Cent is actually a really, really cool word. It originated from French, Italian, and Latin, and cent, it literally means 100. It's not cool. So when I have the word percent, it means for each 100. So if I have 4%, I have four in each 100. And then how many hundreds do I have? Three, very good. So I have 100 here, 100 here, 100 here. And I have four in each of them. Four and four and four. And all I have to do is just add them together, guys. So I have four plus four plus four, and that is 12. Perfect. All right, not that bad, right? So I have 4% of 300 is just simply 12. Perfect. All right, let's practice another question. Let's say, um, let's say you're given what is 9% of uh, 400. Okay, let's take, let's take a step back. What does percent mean again? For each 100. So I have 9%, I have nine in each 100. And I have four, four hundreds. 100 here, 100 here. 100 here, 100 here. And I just have to put nine in each of them. I have nine here, nine here, nine here, and nine here. And all I have to do is just add them together. Nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. That is 36. Yeah. All right, so I know 9% of 400 is 36. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna throw a little curveball at you. To practice a little bit more, let's say you're given 5% of 250. 5% of 250? That's not an even 100 calorie. Okay, so let's calm down, take a step back, understand what percent means. It means for each 100, so I have 5 at each 100. All right, and let's just draw it out, all right? I have a little phrase. It's when in doubt, draw it out because I'm a very visual learner. Okay, anyways. So how many hundreds do I have so far? I have 200 so far, so let's draw that out. 100 here, 100 here, and now I have this extra 50 that's hanging along, so let's draw that out. I have 100 here, but remember, I only want half of that third hundred, like that. Okay, let's fill it in. I have five in the first hundred, five in the second hundred, and I only want half of the five in the third hundred, right? And so what's half of five? Two and a half, very good. So I have two and a half here, two and a half here. Okay, well, I just need 250 of it. So I add five plus five plus, whoa, oops, take 
and it will thicken my whole teeth. Okay. All right, so I have five plus five plus two and a half, which is 12 and one half. Perfect. So I know 5% of 250 equals 12 and a half. All right, perfect guys. I hope, okay. All right guys, so I hope this helped you to understand what percentages actually mean. So if you ever come across percentages in the future in any computational problems or word problems, then at least you know what it is. And so if you have any further questions, just leave some comments down below and hit that like button. No, okay, <laughs> I can't do this. Okay. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh my god. Okay, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, guys, if you like this video, please click that thumbs up and join me on Instagram. No, I didn't. Not join me on Instagram. All right, guys, if you have any further questions, leave some comments down below or follow me on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere else. I'll link it around here somewhere. And thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys later. Bye. You forgot to say subscribe. Subscribe! If you like math and coffee, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay. Ah! Wait, did you press stop? Yeah. Okay.